Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. I really appreciate you um, coming back. And I have a friend mail. I actually already filmed this, but I didn't like it. So, and I haven't had time until today to refilm it. So, yeah, um, I have to do this. I'm on my way to work. Um, at the winery today and I just I wanted to get this done because when I get home from work I'm not gonna want to upload anything and tomorrow husband's home and y'all know I get distracted when he's home like little hearts in my eyeballs so um, I just oh hello good to her um, so I wanted to get these videos at least filmed so tomorrow all I have to do is edit and upload them so um, so this is friend Mel this is from Mel from Christine um, Christine sensing is her channel I would link it I will link it down below um, so I got my handy dandy box right here and um, you guys I don't remember what was in here it's been at least two weeks maybe three weeks um, and when I filmed it it was early in the morning and I don't remember so that's that anyways if you want to re-experience these scents with me keep on watching <laughs> guys know the dealio what am I drinking while well, I'm drinking water I'm not that much of a lush and it's in the morning nine o'clock to be exact um, I am drinking water I left it in the other room that's that what am I wearing well I'm wearing venom of love you guys have heard me talk about this a few times already from Navitas perfumes there we go um, this is here are the notes you guys Why is it so blurry? Hold on. Swiping. Swiping. Swipe or no swiping. There we go. Look at that. That's better. So, bitter almond and cherry brandy are the top notes. And you have chocolate, cherry. I can't read it backwards. Sorry. Turkish rose. Turkish rose absolute. Um, Egyptian jasmine. And then you have almond cream, vanilla, and amber wood. And yeah, so that's what that is. Um, you can go on Navitas Perfumes and get it. I think it is available right now. Get my crazy head out of the way. Um, that it is a fantastic scent. It is sexy. It is sweet. Um, it is um, just so good you smell the almond you smell the cherry you smell the chocolate um but because of the the jasmine and the rose it just kind of it makes it perfumey and not like you just dumped yourself in a bowl of almond cherries so okay you guys let's get into this box i i'm excited oh that's right okay okay so she originally sent me the box because I fell in love with um, Sensi's um, Black Forest Pine. And I, she had some bars, so she kindly just sent them over my way. Let, I'm logging on right now to my spreadsheet so I can get the notes for that. <clears throat> um... So I got this, um, this black forest pine and, uh, in a, it was in a bundle in one of Sensi's um, sales that they were warehouse sale. And 
I fell in love with it. Well, the reason why I grabbed that bundle is because Lacey from Morris and Blue, her channel, she talked about how much she loved the scent. And I was like, well, I mean, you got to try it. So this one, Black Forest Pine, is dark fir balsam, peppered tangerine, and smoked vanilla. So I love, I love forest, um, but I like forest to be blended with things. So you had me at smoked van vanilla. You guys know I love a smoky tobacco mm, scent. And tan peppered tangerine. Yeah, let's try that. Um, so she sent me... I'm <laughs> so excited. She sent me five bars of that. Um, and absolutely, you guys, this is, you pick up the fur and that tangerine, you're picking up the tangerine, but it's not like, it's not an overly sweet tangerine, but, and you, and you do pick up a pepper. This is just, this is one of those scents from Scentsy that just kind of takes me, takes me aback for a second. Um, this is something I would not think that they would make. I'm not saying that their stuff is generic, but I'm saying sometimes it's, um, it's just, I don't want to say basic either. That just sounds so bad. You guys, like, I don't like Scentsy. You guys know I love Scentsy, but this is just an elevated, um, experience in their bars with the fur and the peppered tangerine and smoked vanilla. They did a great job with this. This is dark and the peppered tangerine and the smoked vanilla it's in here and it's beautiful and I really really like it so I'm glad that Christine didn't like it um because that means I get to experience more of it because I think I only ended up getting one bar um and she said bar over a couple bars actually looks like she tried a cube and didn't like it which is fine for me because I absolutely love this one it is in my um it's in my club and I've ordered more of it and every time I place an order I, I'm adding more um so um this is um golden pumpkin peach whipped vanilla and brown sugar this is the frightfully delightful it is still available and um yeah you can add it to your club and you can buy these bars you guys this is just the pumpkin is there and the peach just brightens it up it it's not so um the peach does something to this that just makes it happy and bright and uplifting And then you've got the, the whipped vanilla and you have the brown sugar that just, it's the sugary, it's something you would smell when you're walking in downtown Disney or Disneyland. It's just, it's so freaking pretty. I love the scent a hundred percent and it is staying in my club. This is just, it is so pretty. I love it. Okay, and then she sent over um, apple butter frosting. So I have never smelt apple butter frosting, and everyone was talking about how Kay's did a um, Kay's did a dupe for apple butter frosting, and I wanted to smell the original. So Christine is like so so kind to send me a bar of this. I just. She's so freaking giving. It's insane, you guys. And you guys, I'm not a huge fan of apple. Um, it has to be. It can't be green apple. It can't be sour apple. I love. However, Jack's Obsession, I truly enjoy. So go figure. So anyways, this one is, it's not a, um, it's like the apple you chopped up the apple and you drizzled the sugar and the cinnamon on top of it. And it's kind of been sitting there just 
getting ooey and gooey um, because you're getting ready to make like puree it and then add the butter. Your frosting. This is so, so good. And so I will absolutely be going on K's and ordering some of the the apple butter frosting, her version of it, because I hear it's it smells pretty much spot on to that. So um, another one. <laughs> so this is from Harper James. This is gingerbread martini. You guys know I love gingerbread. I love a boozy scent. I love all those things. So this is warm apple, gingerbread, caramel, cinnamon, and vanilla rum. Oh, oh yes, please. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that is that is like that is an it is a gingerbread martini. It is absolutely. This is so good. That gingerbread is like you have you have your martini and you have like like a slight it, there's gingerbread obviously in the liquid with your rum. Let's say a gingerbread rum, but it's not overpowering spicy gingerbread. It is just you it's in there, but slight. And Almost like there's hardly any gingerbread in your glass, but they've just powdered a little gingerbread seasoning on the top, okay? And then let's just say around the rim, they put they just put a little bit of caramel around the rim. This is so pretty, so pretty. Um, the apple note, you guys, I'm hardly picking up the apple note. Like it's not, it, it Maybe on warm it'll come out, but that's the last thing I'm picking up and it's very slight. If I search for it, I might find it. On warm, it's gonna show up, I guarantee you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bourbon eggnog, what? No scent notes, no need to be scent notes. It is what it is. Ooh, yeah. And that's, this is, this is, a little bit of eggnog with your bourbon. <laughs> so someone, someone did a spiked eggnog, but actually a spiked bourbon. <laughs> this is so good. This is, and the gingerbread once again is not as spicy. It is just, um, or gingerbread. Sorry, the eggnog. It's in there, but I get the bourbon. The bourbon is like. What, what? We are here to party. Bring on the eggnog. I'm still stalking the stores, you guys. It hasn't showed up yet. Um, next one is who pudding. So gingerbread, cinnamon, apple clove, butter, and oatmeal. Mm. Yes. Yes. So I, I do, this one, I do pick up apple clove butter, but it's, it's nice. I like this. Um, the gingerbread is in there. It's like you're making oatmeal cookies with, um, oh. cause the oats are there. So picture, picture, if you will, an oatmeal batter. And you have decided you're going to throw some gingerbread seasoning in here. And why the hell not? Let's just add some creaminess to it and add some apple clove butter to it. Let's just make it a ooey gooey. Why not? This is really good. This is, it's, it is spicy because of that cinnamon. It's not red hot cinnamon, but it is spicy. And Christine doesn't really do like spicy, spicy, especially red hot. Don't give her any red hot, y'all. She don't, she doesn't like that. Um, okay, next one. Sugar and Spice from Vintage Chic. Yes, 
And this is good. This almost kind of reminds me of the um, vanilla, spiced vanilla from Scentsy. Hold on. The one I absolutely adore. No, then that's not it. Vanilla suede, no. Where are you? Um, why can't I think of it right now? Holy cannoli. Cherry, no. Um, it's, you got, so I got it in a, um, also in a bundle and then it became available. I, I only got one and I went back to get another bundle and the bundle was sold out. I thought it was spiced. It's not. What is it? You guys, for, I mean, for a scent that I absolutely love so much, you would think that I would know what the heck it's called. Oh my gosh, you guys, my brain, I'm telling you, I, it's like the moment I hit 50 and premenopause started, I sometimes am surprised I know my name because I forget stuff and I forget stuff that's like super easy to remember. Uh, why can't I find this in here? Because I know I've added in, in here. Autumn, no, no. Brownie batter, no. But brownie batter is good. You guys, this is, I'm, I refuse to quit until, uh, I'm just going to look at all of this. And it's not crumb top. Evergreen, no. You guys, this is going to drive me absolutely bonkers. Graham Cracker Crunch, no. Happy birthday. I took happy birthday out of my, I had it in my, um, in my club and I took it out because um, there are so many other great cake blends that to me are stronger and sweeter and work better. I mean, it's a great blending mixer, but by itself, I just, there's other things I would rather have. Hug in a mug, no. Lemon, no. Maple, maple, midnight, mocha, no. My wish, no. You guys. Did I accidentally red, rum, rustic, salt, scary, season, slay? It's not sugar cookie. Oh, sweet. Oh my God. Sweet cream spice is vanilla bean, nutmeg, and frothy milk. Oh my gosh. I knew there was spice in there. I was looking for spice vanilla or something. Okay, so not that far gone. Okay, this kind of gives me those vibes. However, Vintage Chic, she is closing her doors at the end of the year. I don't even know if this is available, if it's an option or whatever. So either way, um, can't get it in Cincy anymore and you can't get it from Vintage Chic. So I'm glad I found her though. That was that would have driven me nuts. Um, next one is from Rose Girls. This is pistachio glazed donuts. Love a pistachio, pistachio almond. Ooh, yeah, that is oh, this one actually. Might actually be good with this. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay, so I might actually, I'm not warming anything today. I have my candles going right now. Um, but because I'm leaving for work at 12 and I won't be back until after, till almost six o'clock, um, I probably, nothing will be going in my warmers downstairs today. Obviously my bedroom, I will put stuff, new wax in the warmer so that when I go up there, um, to go to bed, my room's nice and cozy, but this, I might actually blend these with maybe a bar of the um, sweet cream spice <laughs> from Sensi. Um, I might try that. That would be that would be fun. Next one is from Rose Girls Almond Biscotti Strusel Kuchen Pastry Almonds Biscotti Powdered Sugar. Mm. Oh, that is that is like. When you have like a pastry, a bear claw, the streusel kuchen, and that dough, like, uh, like you, they, it's all baked and crispy on the outside, but underneath that dough is still like moist and um, doughy still with with the almond and the cream and all of that. That's the vibe I get in here. I feel like I've bitten into that pastry and I'm getting the whole sensation of the crust, the moist. The, the almond, the, all of that. Oh, mm. uh, oh yeah. So excited for that one. All right. And last but not least is also from Rose Girls. This is Sticks and Stones. So this is Sandalwood, Vanilla, Palo Santo, and Leather. Also love a good leather. Um, but I like all, all these words. I like leather as well to be with something else. So Scentsy just released their um, Open Plains and there was two out of four that I really enjoyed. They were a little more softer and feminine. One of them was very Hemingway-esque. Like if you had one, to me in my opinion, it didn't, didn't really need the other unless you wanted, um, the Open Plains ones obviously had more leather to it, but I liked Hemingway better. And then the other one was very masculine, almost cologne-like. And um, I just, it wasn't what I wanted. So, all right, back to this one. That's nice. Okay, so the Palo Santo is not crazy, crazy. I am picking up the leather. It's Oh my gosh, this is almost like, oh, that vanilla is so good. This is really, really nice. So, it's like a little skull. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The girls right now are talking about how they don't like on our inner little wax chat group. Um, they're talking about how they don't like some, some of them don't like scary things. I love scary things. I love being, I love watching scary movies. Um, pretty much all kinds that the slasher, like, like saw or, um, like things like that. Not so much like just, that's kind of cringy that the paint, like, ooh. however, I will watch them. They're fun. Um, I don't mess around with stuff. Like I don't mess around with stuff. I enjoy watching stuff, but I'm not, I'm not going to be doing seances or anything like that, but I enjoy watching it from the outside. <laughs> it's like drama. Sometimes I like watching it from the outside. I don't want to be a part of it. I hate being, I don't want anything to do with it. So Okay, so this is leathery, but it's the, the sandalwood and the vanilla are just, and this Palo Santo, it's like you walked into, it's like you've walked, so there's a, there's a store that sells, um, Western wear, 
Um, but they also have like a, um, they also have perfumes and colognes. So it's kind of like that. I'm, I'm getting the leather from their, their bags and their boots and stuff like that. This is really nice. I like this one. This one, um, I think I will cut in four um, and would be really, really good either in here or upstairs um, in my bedroom. So, and that is it, you guys. That is what Christine from Christine Sent Scene sent me. Um, Christine, uh, honestly, um, thank you. Thank you so much for um, not wanting... <laughs> what I want and I truly appreciate that so that is it um I'm moving on to some other I've got um I've got three crinkle boxes I need to open I have a Brita's and I have an L3 so I will be trying to film away so that I don't have to do it later and I don't have to do it tomorrow so anyways Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to repeat it in these next few videos. So if you are watching all my videos from here out and I'm wearing this, I have reached 700, which was my, which was for me 500. Um, because I had a previous channel before this, before wax, and I had people coming and going and leaving. And I started out with a, with about 200, 260, I think it was. I don't remember. Anyway, so I had decided that when I hit 700, I'm going to consider that 500 for the giveaway. However, after that giveaway, 700 is 700. It is what it is. And then I'm going to do another giveaway when I hit 1,000. When the number says 1,000, I am going to do another giveaway. So um, when I have time to wrap my brain around what I'm going to do, I will let you guys know. But just um, keep that in your noggin that there's a giveaway coming up soon. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it is. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to do just to save myself some time and some stress, I'm going to do one, one giveaway. I don't know what it'll be yet though. So keep watching. All right, you guys. Thank you guys. I really appreciate everyone who has subscribed and commenting and just really, um, I really truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.